he does go pur- to purgatory, as you said there, to the Eagles or to the Jets or somewhere besides the NFC North. Obviously, the landscape in the NFC North is going to change here, Tori. So with Aaron Rodgers out of the picture, who becomes a front runner in the NFC North? It's still the Packers. Still the Packers, huh? Again, still the Packers. And we, we kind of touched on this and discussed it last night. There is too much firepower on that offense and on that defense that for them to just completely fall off. There are so many weapons. They could dink and duck and dink and dunk it down the field on almost anybody with Jordan Love. If they decided they're not going to let Jordan Love throw the ball more than 10 yards to try to limit turnovers and to get his completion percentage up and stuff like that, they could do it. They could swing it to Aaron Jones in the backfield. They can do slants to Devontae. They can, you know, do uh, others. They can do cross slants to like with mm-hmm. Devontae and Amari Rogers and MVS. You know, MVS is obviously going to be your field stretcher. Um, and uh, I just don't, I don't see it. That defense has elite players on all three levels now. And they are going to take another step forward this year. As much as we like to rag on the, the Packers defense and, and their lack in the NFC championship game, they were still a top 10 defense last year. They were like, I think they were seventh in the league. They were, I, I believe. And the problem is, is that, they would have been top five because they disappeared for stretches in games. Right. And that was, that was the downfall. And that's what happened in the NFC championship game. They disappeared for basically two quarters of that game. And that's what cost them the game. So you are saying that the green Bay Packers still the front runner in the NFC North, even if they don't have Aaron Rodgers. Well, Tori, I'm here to break it to you that, sorry, the green Bay Packers aren't even the front runner in the, in the NFC North with Aaron Rodgers. The correct answer is still the Detroit Lions. Come on, man. The Detroit Lions are going to go 10-7 and seven this season with Jared Goff at the helm. And quite frankly, I think the Green Bay Packers might be that overrated team in the NFC. Yes, they made it to two straight NFC championship, chip, chip, chip games, but eventually they're going to digress because Aaron Rodgers is older. Devontae Adams won't be getting the ball as much. And there's going to be some turmoil and yada, 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 because the Detroit Lions are, they are a young, fresh team. They got a new quarterback. They got a new coach. They got a, they got some new receivers. They got some new defensive players. They got a, a line on the sideline, Tory. I mean, with, if Aaron Rodgers is not in the NFC North, the Detroit Lions are going to run that division for many, many years to come. As long as Jared Goff and Campbell are together, they're, they, they, they're going to be like this, and they're going to run that North, and you and Brandon Combs' Bears are going to be at the cellar fighting with the Vikings for basically a 6-11 and record year in and year out. How does that make you feel? 